welcome to Pretty Plump and Trying. My name is Amanda. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button below. If you're interested in beauty, plus size fashion, unboxings, and more. Today, I figured it is Halloween. Let's do a look based off of one of my many wigs that I have. I figured we'd go a little, a little funky. You know, we'll see. But I have my little Halloween shirt on. This should be coming out on Halloween. I got it oversized because I'm just... I just wanted to be comfortable <laughs> today, but this is the wig. It is like a hunter green wig, and it's actually pretty mild. I do have a couple other um, more colorful ones, which I'll definitely look to do makeup looks inspired by or whatever based off of the wig, but I figured I'm actually going to probably go out on this one. This is probably one of my favorites. It's just kind of simple. The haircut is actually pretty nice, and I think it was under 10 bucks. If they still have it. I will definitely um, have the information in the description box so you guys can check it out if you're interested. But the palette I'm going to be using is one I've never used before. But I saw it and I was tempted because I've been feeling green lately. And it is from Profusion. It is the Emeralds palette. This is a 10 pound palette. has a mixture of shimmers as well as mattes. And yeah, here are the colors. Just really pretty. I've never used it but I have heard good things about it so... Why not? For under five bucks. Let's try it and let's see what kind of look. I also have, let's see, I have the Kaleidoscope highlighting palette. Let's put one of those on. I have a Pacifica, which I've been really liking this lately, so that's why you guys see it. But the Pacifica blush and bronzer. Two different mascaras. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with. Two different lips op lip options. I have, this is from Marc Jacobs. This is a Chucha Changes lip gloss. I'm not a huge fan of lip gloss, but what I am, um, this is a formula that I do actually really like. I never pay Marc Jacob prices. This was one of those, I think, boxy charms like sales. So that's that. And this one is um, NYX, just a liquid suede in a pretty like brownish purple color. So I don't know which one. We'll see how the look comes out and see what I come up with. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. I have a couple brushes just in front of me, just random brushes from e.l.f. and different places, so let's just go ahead. The first color I'm thinking about, and all these colors do have names, which is really nice, um, like Radioactive, Harley Quinn, Meadow, Galaxy, we'll see. But I'm going to start off with Fern, which is this light color right here, and let's do that all along the lid. And I have my mirror right here, so that's why I'm going to be referring over here. But I'm just going to sweep it. And we'll see. I don't know if you guys are into Halloween. I know some people aren't, which is perfectly fine, but I'm excited. That's when I watch all the old school horror movies. Although I like horror movies in general, but sometimes you get some just classic ones that you don't really see a lot. So this is the best time for me. I'll literally get a little tray of snacks for me and my boyfriend, and we will sit and we'll watch just a random movie. Um, last night, we did Alien, because that is by far his favorite horror movie franchise, except the last one. <laughs> the last one, he was so mad that the story was nothing like it, well, like he thought it should be that our car ride home was just silent. I have never seen him so mad <laughs> about a movie and the ending before and just like they messed with the lore apparently and he just absolutely loves that franchise. So when we watch things, he does not even mention that one. He is, nope, not about it. But this fern color is pretty darn pigmented nice and I'm going out so hopefully this comes out <laughs> freaking pretty well <laughs> no guarantees let's deepen the crease a little bit let's go with this darker color right here and let's deepen the crease a little bit but for five bucks that's cool let's just deepen the crease a little bit just sweeping it along my lid trying to get into the crease yeah, I'm, I'm not mad 
And if this palette works out nice, I know they have a couple different ones. I might have to check it out and see. Because this actually is going to be in another video I do. Because I actually decided to buy it after watching one of my favorite YouTubers. Who was just like, this is amazing. And I was like, okay, <laughs> let's go for it. Why not? So, you'll definitely see this palette again. But let's see. Alrighty. Yeah, not bad. Let's go with this darker color. Well, actually, there's a couple. And not even super powdery either, which is nice. Let's go with Meadow, which is right here. And let's go in the outer corner with Meadow. And then we'll do Shimmer. Okay, Meadow is a little bit powdery, but I'm not horribly mad at it. Let's see. Just patting it on the outer corner. And again, I am by no means a makeup artist. This is just something fun that I can do and, you know, talk to you guys, which is nice because right now with everything going on, sometimes you just need that. You need to be able to talk and play with makeup. And, uh, yeah, so just appreciative of anyone who decides to actually watch and, you know, me do what I'm doing. But, again, this is, it's pigmented. And there's not a lot of fallout, which I'm loving because I forgot to bring my brush that I normally <laughs> wipe any fallout with. But, yeah, this is, this is really, really surprising me, which is nice because... That means I might be getting, I think there's a Ruby's palette that was really pretty. Darn it. Okay. But luckily it's only like $4.98, I think, on Walmart. So, again, I'll leave the information in the description box just in case. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm saying this now because that is the goal. But let's do that. Okay. And we have that. Not bad. Let's now look at some of these shimmers. Let's see. Now. Meadow by far had the most fallout, but still, not horrible. Let me put on my glasses just really quick so we can actually see a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Not bad so far. Let's do... Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, pulling up the sleeves. <laughs> I'm going to do some swatches. <laughs> Let's see. They have a couple shimmers, but the shimmers that are kind of speaking to me is Radioactive and galaxy so let's see what they actually look like these let's see this is galaxy oh this is radioactive both completely different hmm galaxy definitely had more powder but maybe i'll use both hmm. yeah maybe i'll use both why not okay Go figure. It's fine. I'm going to do a galaxy and then I'll do a spot of the radioactive in the inner corner. Yeah. I'm going to use my finger. This definitely is powdery, but let's see. And let's just put that. Let's see what happens. It's a pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it is really pretty. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's a pretty color. Not mad at that one at all. And let's do any one of the brushes. Let me look and see. I know I have a small brush somewhere. Let's look. I might not. Go figure. That is one thing I did not bring. That's okay. We all make it work. We always do. Let's see. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. There you go. We'll just do this little brush right here, which, again, I just, I love some pretty designs here. Okay. And let's just put that in the inner corner here. And let's see. You can actually see it. Now, Radioactive and Galaxy are very powdery. It is their shimmer formula, so that could just be why, but let's just put that on there. 
And I'm gonna do more. I'm just gonna see it out and just put a little bit more into the eye. There you go. For the first time using the palette, not bad so far. At least what I think. You guys might be watching like, oh no, hold up. But I don't think it's so bad. And like I said, for the price, that's I'm pretty impressed with it. Now what I'm gonna do for the under eye, I have a NYX purple eyeliner. I'll kind of go with the shirt. Let's do that. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. Let's see. I do like NYX formula when it comes to eyeliners. So let me just try to do this real quick and not poke myself in the eye because that can happen. I do see some fallout, but it's nothing too crazy. And I'm going to just kind of smudge it a little bit on the bottom. Or just put some of the purple on the bottom. Because, why not? There you go. Just kind of real quick. There we go. And I'll show you what I mean about the fallout or the powder. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but... Compared to the match, you can definitely see the, the powder, but still not bad. Now let's go underneath the eyes. Let's see. Let's go with, do we want to do a funky color or maybe do two colors under the eye? You know, be fancy. <laughs> as fancy as I can be at this point. Let's see. Let's do a lighter color. So let's go with, let's go back to Fern, which is the first color. And let's put that inner corner and about to the middle of the eye. Just right underneath the purple and see if it actually shows up. And then just underneath the purple and just see if it'll actually. It's kind of showing up. Let's see. And just go like towards the middle. And. Like towards the middle. Okay, and then we'll grab the darker meadow color and we'll do it for the rest of the under eye. Oops, sorry, that was a little violet. We're just gonna put that right at the, the rest of it. Let's see. I'm just kind of connecting everything. Alrighty. And this is supposed to be a funky look. It doesn't have to be perfect because that's what that's not what makeup's about. You know, you don't need to have perfection. It's about kind of an expression and if you can't do things perfectly, more power to you. I wish. <laughs> But right now, you know, that's not what this is about. This is just kind of having fun and just doing something. So let's see. Okay. I think that may be the look. Let's see. Maybe let's put some along the brow bone. That's not the brush I wanted. Let's do, might as well do a different color. Let's do gilded, which is this pretty gold color right here. And let's go along the brow bone with that. Just to see. Don't know if you're going to even be able to see it, but maybe. And that way I'm using more colors in this palette. Just sweeping it along the brow bone. Alrighty. I think that might be the eye look. Let's check it out real quick. Let me close my eyes so you guys can fully see the look. Again, I'll probably have to clean up a little bit, but you guys can get a picture of it. Because there is some fallout, but again, this is supposed to be like a Halloween kind of look. So why not have it be a little distressed or a little messy? Why not? Let's throw on a quick little blush. I'll just do 
And from Pacifica, not go too crazy. I'm going to go pretty light when it comes to the blush. Did I go light or did I go clown? Huh. I guess it all depends on perspective. It's fine. I'll deal with it. Plus, I'm going to have a mask on for most of this anyway, so as long as I'm feeling okay, that works for me. <laughs> Let's use the Kaleidoscope palette. Kaleidoscope palette. Let's do a highlighter. Did I just, hopefully I didn't blind you guys. Let's go with, why not? Let's go with the green highlighter. And just really make it funky. Why not? I don't think I used this one either when I showed you guys, so this will be interesting. Let's see. Oh. That is green. That's like a greenish gold, I think, actually. I don't know if you guys are going to be able, able to see it, but it's pretty. These things are pigmented. I will give you that. All right, now let's do let's do some mascara real quick. And I think we're, we're done. We're going to go for the lips. I'm going to go with the green mascara. This is a L'Oreal Voluminous one in Hunter Green. And we're just going to do this real quick. I do like it, it's just... I don't think it comes up on camera. The way I'd like it to, but... Not in person, it's nice. It just gives you that little hint of green. So you can have something, but not have something too outstanding. As I poke myself in the eye. Oh! Alright, we're we gonna, we gonna stop mascara. Because <laughs> my eyes are gonna start watering. It's gonna mess up that look. Okay, but. Let's. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see the highlighter, but it's definitely there. And it's pretty. It says a little shift of green, which is nice. Okay. Do I wanna go with this? Or do I wanna do the lip gloss? Or maybe both. Why not? <laughs> if I can open it. We'll see. Let's see how this one goes. I think next time I'll do a moisturizing here in my lips because I did not today. And I can tell. That was one swipe, so that's pretty cool. It's not bad. It kind of goes with it, maybe. It goes with the shirt, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to justify this look. It's okay, I had fun. So, there we go. I'm waiting for it to dry and then I might... See, I think it has like a shift of green with the way you look at it, so I think that's funky. But let's, why not? Once I do it, this might completely jack up the look, but some of you guys might be already saying, like, it's already jacked up, you're fine. <laughs> so why not? Let's try it. Okay. Why not? I had fun. <laughs> but here is the look. Let me try to look a little bit better so you guys can see it. But... See, the lip gloss gave it more of a shift of green, so I think it kind of goes kind of well. I'm going out like this regardless, so hopefully you guys liked it. But here's the look, inspired kind of by the wig and maybe a little bit of the shirt. I also got the shirt at Shein's. Um, I think it was like under 10 bucks, but it's super big and just, I like comfy and throw on some leggings with this and be good. That is what I do. But just a quick reminder that you are beautiful smart, kind, and if today's not a good day, that's okay. All we can do is try. Have a wonderful day, and see you next time. Bye, guys.